Fear is contagious. Hey guys, it's Carlos Reyes, allinnation.com, and I was driving home to work today because I'm not in a cave somewhere seeking shelter, right? Um, but if I am forced to, at some point, I, I will. I will stay home, I will be in quarantine, and that's okay, right? I'm not some of these, you know, supremacist or I'm not a, a, a rebel, right? So um, I do follow law and order. So this is what I'm gonna say, right? I was driving to work and my mother calls me and we've been, we've been closer than ever. And my mom is a 62 year old diabetic. So this coronavirus could affect her. She's the ideal candidate. <laughs> She's the ideal candidate, but I'll tell you what she said to me. This woman has always been so strong, always so strong. And I'm gonna tell you what, she calls me this morning and says, son, I wanna leave you with Psalm 91 this morning. And I was like, oh really? And she's like, yeah, let me read it to you. She says the following. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And I was like, man, like even to this day, like this woman just doesn't stop surprising me, right? Like she has so much courage. And that's what I wanna talk about today. If you're the head of your household and you're full of fear, guess what? your family will be full of fear. And guess what? If they're full of fear, their immune system drops, it weakens, and now they can actually contract, acquire a sickness, not necessarily just the coronavirus, but any sickness in general. It's your responsibility. I know, I know these are tough times for some people. People are panicking, but you know what? It's time to be strong. And you, you can be strong and you have to be strong. If you're, even if you're not strong, at least for your family's sake, you have to play the part and look strong, okay? Because fear is contagious. But you know what else is contagious? Courage, faith. And that's what I'm asking of you today. As, as a father, as a mother, as a son, as a daughter, right? As a brother, as a sister, I'm asking you to be faithful and courageous. That's what I'm asking you today. So just keep in mind, guys, the Lord will never bring us to something that he can't bring us through, okay? Keep that in mind. Whatever we're, whatever we're brought to, we will be brought through. Thank you for tuning in. Love you. I'll talk to you soon.